Greetings, all you vintage fans. Heidi here, with another quick video about the fascinating world of retro clothing, vintage fashion, and burlesque. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, and click the bell to be notified of the next exciting upload. While the turning point in the fashion industry during the 50s is mainly concentrated on the women's change toward elegance and sophistication as it happened with fashion houses Dior and Chanel, men's dress code also changed dramatically during the post-war era. Men were looking for a different life after the war, they wanted a change in their uniform, because they wanted style and elegance as opposed to austerity and plainness. It was in 1952 that Brioni's first fashion show was held in Florence, giving exposure to the brand worldwide. Two years later, they began their tour in the United States, starting with a show in New York City, following it by eight more in different cities. The 50s were a time of change, and Brioni gave men the opportunity of a transformation. Brioni is an Italian fashion house founded in 1947 that specializes in handmade suits, named after the Croatian islands of Brijuni, pronounced Brioni, widely visited by aristocrats and glamorous personalities in the 20s and 30s. The first suit shop was opened at the end of World War II in Rome's Via Barberini by master tailor Nazarino Fontacoli and his business partner Gaetano Savini. Together they who dedicated themselves to offer elegance and style, while their handmade suits represented suave attitude and uniqueness, as they still do. It was during the 50s that American actors and celebrities searched for a unique sense of style and the brand, by offering perfection and innovation, attracted clients such as Clark Gable and Gary Cooper. By offering a totally customized suit, in terms of personality and bodily proportions, Brioni has been able to maintain their high-end clientele, 25,000 and counting, since their beginning. While only the elite could afford to purchase Brioni's designs, ordinary people purchased the mass-marketed designs that reflected the Brioni look during the 1950s. Even if one did not have thousands of dollars to spend on a Brioni suit, he could still purchase a suit at the local department store created with the broad shoulder look for which Brioni became so famous. Even to this day, the world's most renowned men shop at Brioni for the incredible craftsmanship of the suits created by Brioni. Men like Donald Trump, Richard Gere, and even Vladimir Putin shop at Brioni to this day. Suits at Brioni currently cost anywhere from $5,000 for the cheapest design all the way to $48,000 for the most luxurious. A typical Brioni handmade suit goes through 10 hours of sewing by hand, more than double the amount of time of fine craftsmanship for buttons, and about four times the amount of time ironing to perfection. The brand maintains perfection as their ideal, which explains why they keep being on top of the game. Brioni, as in the 1950s, gives their clients the possibility of feeling secure and elegant in a handmade suit that define the same ideals as the men wearing them. Thanks for watching. If you found anything of interest in this video then please subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell. That way you'll be notified directly of any new videos. Please also give this video a like, and post a comment to tell me what you liked or disliked about this video. Finally, please share this video with friends and colleagues and in social media so that others may view it and comment. By subscribing, commenting, liking, and sharing these videos I'll know what I'm doing right and will continue to make videos that people want to watch.